Stop learning. Stop learning, stop learning, stop learning. Now I know what you're thinking. That's a weird thing to say. Why would I say stop learning? You're supposed to always learn. You're supposed to always want to learn new things and continue growing, right? Right, that is true. The reason I say to stop learning is because if you continue to learn, learn, and learn, that's all you'll do. You'll just learn. There's nothing wrong with that if your goal is to just learn. But the thing is where people go wrong, they get caught up in the learning part and not the part of actually doing what you've learned. I'll take me as an example. Um, of course, I'm an artist. I do multiple things, uh, make music, photography, videography, any, pretty much anything, anything I need to do, I do it. Um, one thing about me is I'm always learning like how to get myself out there more, how to learn a specific skill more. And don't get me wrong, there are times where you need to learn, but there's also times where you can take in too much information to the point where, okay, I learned how to do this. I learned this step. And instead of acting on it, I try to learn a little more and keep learning. And then it's like what I just learned that I didn't even act on yet is being pushed out. Say there's some marketing strategy that I just learned. And I'm like, okay, this will be good. Let me, you know, try to implement this. And then I keep like, you know, watching different videos and just reading stuff and like talking to people about certain things. And it's like, okay, that perfect marketing strategy plan that I just learned like a while back, I overloaded my brain so much that I don't even remember it and I didn't get a chance to act on it. So what I would suggest is learn, of course, continue to learn. That was a little clickbaity, but break up your learning in ways where you learn, you act on what you just learned, and then you learn some more, and then act on what you just learned there. Let's put it in, let's put it in the simplest way possible. If you're in school and you just learn how to do some math problem, right? You're usually your teacher, before teaching you anything else, is gonna give you homework on that specific problem, that specific formula, right? They're going to want you to learn that in class, go home, act on what you just learned before teaching you something new the next day. Now, if they just taught you that original formula in class, no homework, no chance to act on it, and then the next day it's a brand new topic, you would forget what you just learned, right? You would forget what you just learned because you didn't get a chance to act on it independently. It's a difference between someone telling you step by step how to do it and you actually doing it for yourself. So, stop learning. Just for a little bit. Just so you can act on what you just learned, right? Stop learning for a little bit. Act on what you just learned. And then learn some more. Boom. Peace out, YouTube. I think that was, I didn't do that right. Whatever, we're gonna scrap that.